Dr. Adam Robinson is the director of the Veterans Administration's Pacific Islands Healthcare System, which covers Guam and the entire Pacific region. He says the newly signed lease for a new community-based outpatient clinic, or CBOC, is a long time coming. So the key here is that we're actually increasing the amount of clinical space that we can provide our veterans in Guam uh, within the uh, confines of, of our CBOC that's now there. The facility next to the Guam Regional Medical City adds another 5,500 square feet. He says about 6,000 of the estimated 13,000 veterans on Guam are registered with the VA's health care system and 3,000 are active patients. Dr. Robinson says the need for more space is in response in part to the new laws that expand benefits for veterans exposed to Agent Orange and toxins from burn pits. The different uh, new acts that the a VA and the secretary have initiated, we're trying to make sure that we have the capacity, the clinical space capacity uh, to take care of our veterans. He says the annex will provide typical primary services as well as prosthetics, in-person mental health counseling, and most importantly, specialty care for the many vets who would rather not or can't travel off island. And the way this will work is the specialty care will rotate in and out through the annex. So we're, we're trying to make sure that we can give a comprehensive look at, at our care model and increase that uh, in uh, Guam and, and specifically at the uh, CBOC Annex. Those areas where we need specialty care, we have to depend often on community members, uh, such as uh, the, the Guam um, Regional Medical Center, uh, Guam Memorial Hospital, we're, we, will, we, we are going to partner with everyone that we can in order to make sure that our veterans are cared for. A top priority would be establishing a 12-bed community living center, which is the VA's nursing home model, to meet the needs of elderly veteran patients. We also asked about the VA's interest in establishing a bigger presence when a new GMH is built. The key here is that we are very anxious to partner with Guam Memorial and to try to see if we can have VA uh, inpatient care in a Guam, uh, in Guam Memorial Hospital. So the answer is yes. We, we have actively uh, talked with the government, the Guam government about the 12 bed uh, CLC uh, and we would be more than happy to partner in other ways because we think that it's a win-win for veterans in Guam. We're awaiting the government to come back with their proposals and show us exactly what they think we should have because it's going to be up to them to get it, but we're going to partner with them in, in terms of managing it and helping our veterans. Meanwhile, the VA Annex in Dededo is expected to be operational by early next year. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News.